November 28, 2017, at the historic Paramount Theater. The Colorado Music Hall of Fame, presented by Comfort Dental, hosted a concert and induction ceremony for Colorado's Jazz Masters and Beyond class of 2017. Inductees included bassist Charles Burrell, guitarist Bill Frizzell, trumpet and coronet virtuoso Ron Miles, Grammy Award-winning jazz vocalist Diane Reeves, and Philip Bailey, Larry Dunn, and Andrew Woolfolk from Earth, Wind, and Fire. That evening also included the first ever Barry Fay Visionary Award given to East High School's legendary music program. All of these gifted and experienced performers excel in a variety of genres, but it is their grounding in jazz that is the foundation of their success. The performances at the induction ceremony demonstrated how their mastery of jazz influenced all of the styles they played. It was truly a night to remember. Colorado has an incredible wealth of actors, artists, and musicians we call our own. And it's astounding to see how many of them came out of East High School. Many of our jazz masters inductees attended East High, including Philip Bailey, Larry Dunn, and Andrew Woolfolk of Earth, Wind & Fire, as did Bill Frizzell and Ron Miles. While Philip Bailey was singing in the youth choir with future actress Pam Greer, Future guitar great Bill Frizzell was playing clarinet in the school band. A few years later, Ron Miles was playing trumpet in the East High Jazz Band. A long list of renowned artists came out of East High, alumni spanning many generations who have all benefited from the remarkable music programs offered there. The East High School Music Program is the very first recipient of the Barry Fay Visionary Award presented to the school for making great music possible in Colorado. Jazz teacher Keith Oxman and choir director Will Taylor accepted the award from former mayor Wellington Webb and KUVO program director Carlos Lando. Any story about jazz in Colorado begins with Charles Burrell. Charlie Burrell was called the Jackie Robinson of the classical world. When he was hired by the Denver Symphony in 1949, he became the first black symphonic musician in the United States. He was also a brilliant jazz musician, playing with all the luminaries of the golden era of jazz. Burrell became the house bass player at the Rossonian Hotel in the center of the famed Five Points jazz scene in Denver. But some of the best jazz you'd ever want to hear was there. That was a jazz mecca. That was the only place to go between St. Louis and California. The only place to go was the Five Points. When I came through, I was exposed to the giants of the swing era, okay? Uh, the Duke Ellingtons, Count Basie, Earl Father Hines, Nellie Lutcher, Sarah Vaughn, Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald. There, there's not too many I didn't play with, really. Charlie learned from some of the best, and he paid it forward in so many ways, most notably in tutoring his cousins, Pernell Steen, an exceptional piano player and band leader. Perhaps his greatest mentoring was that of his niece, the celebrated singer, Diane Reeves. Charles Burrell has had a remarkable career and made an enormous contribution to Colorado's jazz legacy during his 97 years. We are humbled by his legacy and honored to induct him into the Hall of Fame's Jazz Masters and Beyond class of 2017.
By the time Bill Frizzell graduated East High School, he was already an incredible guitarist and had begun working with some of the greats. Bill has held the number one guitar spot in the annual Downbeat Critics Poll for nine out of 10 years. He was named Guitarist of the Year 18 times, and he has won numerous Grammys for his work recording with Petra Hayden, Tony Cher, Kenny Wollison, and Ron Miles. Bill continues to collaborate with a wide range of artists and musicians, from Paul Simon to Vinicius Contoria. His most lasting connection and collaboration has been with Denver's own Ron Miles. So much of what we do, we do because there aren't any words for it. I mean, that's kind of why we, why we do what we do. It's taking abstract concepts and putting them to sound so that each person can kind of come to it and you give them a bit of the story, but they complete the story. And I think that's the nature of improvisation. It's never complete until there's both people participating, the performer and the listener. And I think that's what makes the music unique. Ron Miles has played in many genres and styles of music with artists from all over the world. Yet there is something uniquely Colorado about the way he approaches all music equally. Ron's crystal clear tone works just as well with metal bands as it does with jazz. And the spirituality of his approach has made him one of the most well-loved players and collaborators in music. Whether working with jazz greats like Joshua Redman or local favorites like Hazel Miller, Ron brings his unique approach and philosophy to the session. It's also ever-present in his role as Director of Jazz Studies at Metro State University. Ron joined MSU Denver in 1998, and he continues to teach and oversee the Jazz Studies program there. As much as Ron and Bill are both renowned for jazz playing, they both frequently cross musical boundaries in the styles like folk, country music, Americana, and beyond. It is fitting that these two were inducted into the Colorado Music Hall of Fame together in 2017. Congratulations, Bill Frizzell and Ron Miles. Denver's own Diane Reeves has achieved remarkable status as a vocalist in the jazz world. So she's like a, a part of that continuum of great vocalists that pay the price uh, that's required to plume the depths of their soul and also have the technical the virtuosity and the, and, and the nuanced understanding of what the, what the music affords. I think Diane's impact uh, as a musician, as a vocalist, uh, you know, globally, first of all, it is, is, is well established. Girl, just trying to find my way. I grew up right here in Denver, Colorado, in Park Hill. My mother was a nurse. My father worked for the, uh, the Postal Department. And um, they were both lovers of music. Plus, there was a lot of music in the family. My uncle is Charles Burrell, who's a great jazz bassist as well as classical bassist. And then I had a great aunt who played the piano and sang the most wicked blues anybody could ever hope to hear, you know. And she would teach me these songs, and it was funny, I'd stand up and I'd be singing these songs. That's what she would do. She would listen and then sing it her way. We would look at her and say, well, what did you just sing? My song response, my song, that's my song. You know, she's pretty feisty of that. She moved to Los Angeles in 1976 at the suggestion of Earth, Wind & Fire's Philip Bailey, and the two quickly rose to the top of their respective fields. Miss Reeves ranks among the top echelon of jazz singers. She's performed folks, kings, queens, has received numerous awards, five Grammys. I think she has three do honorary doctorates now. She's got three um, Diane Reeves days. 
She sung with everyone from Stanley Turrentine to Harry Belafonte. And she was the featured singer in George Clooney's film, Good Night and Good Luck. We are fortunate that she decided to move back to Colorado in the 1990s. And we treasure her for her elegance and evocative voice. And the way she makes us feel as she explores and reimagines jazz standards and new compositions. Congratulations to Diane on being inducted into the Colorado Music Hall of Fame. Earth, Wind & Fire has been entertaining us for decades, and three of its core members all came out of Denver, Colorado. Their music is an eclectic combination of rhythm, blues, soul, funk, and jazz. Virtuosic singing and playing and a groove that never ends are hallmarks of one of the greatest bands of all time. Larry Dunn was working clubs seven nights a week by the time he was 15. And he signed with Earth, Wind & Fire at the tender age of 17. Larry was already playing rock and jazz gigs and had a regular gig with local blues artist Sam Mayfield. And his mother had to sign the contract for him because he was so young. Andrew Woolfolk is more than just a brilliant sax player. Along with reed instruments, he also plays flute and percussion. He came out of East High School Jazz Band to study with Joe Henderson in New York and almost took a job in banking until Philip Bailey convinced him to come and join Earth, Wind & Fire in 1973. Philip Bailey has a remarkable four-octave vocal range and a distinctive falsetto that is instantly recognizable. With that incredible jazz, soul, and gospel vocal virtuosity, Philip has won seven Grammy Awards and has been inducted into both the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and also the Vocal Group Hall of Fame. Earth, Wind & Fire has taken us on an extraordinary musical journey, lasting more than 40 years. They've used elements of jazz to help create pop songs that have become a part of not only our lives, but a part of the very fabric of our culture. Truly living up to the term jazz masters. From the education of up and coming young jazz artists at East High School, to the groundbreaking soul funk of earth, wind and fire. From the pure joy of hearing a singer like Diane Reeves, to the classical tradition of Charlie Burrell, and the soaring improvisation of Ron Miles and Bill Frizzell, jazz is alive and thriving here in Colorado. And we are extremely proud to be able to present to you the first ever Jazz Masters and Beyond Class of 2017. Congratulations and welcome to the Colorado Music Hall of Fame presented by Comfort Dental. <laughs> <laughs> 